Hi everyone and welcome to this exciting video on Padma Shri Arunachala Murganatham, a design thinking pioneer. It's a beautiful case study of design thinking that highlights Murganatham, the Indian inventor of low cost sanitary pads and his story is a testament to the power of design thinking to solve complex social problems. First thing first, what is design thinking? Design thinking is a human centered approach to solve problems. It's about understanding the needs of people you are working for. I have made a detailed video on the introduction of design thinking. You can watch it. Link is given in the description. Arunachalam Murganatham The man known as Padman is a social entrepreneur who is best known for developing low-cost affordable sanitary pads for women in rural India. His work is a powerful example of how design thinking can be used to solve complex social problems. But what motivated him to do so and how a dropped out of school used design thinking? To understand this case study, let us look at his story first. Murugunatham's journey began when he saw his wife using a rugged piece of cloth during her menstrual cycle. He was horrified by the unsanitary condition she followed and the health risk involved in it. One day, he decided to talk to his wife. He asked, Why are you using this rugged cloth and not the pads which are shown on the TV? To which Shanti, his wife, answered, If all the women of the family start using it, the family budget to purchase milk will get over. This created a spark in his mind and he set out to create an affordable and accessible sanitary pad. But he faced a number of challenges. Murugunatham began by conducting research to understand the needs of women in rural India. He interviewed women and observed their sanitary practices. He also conducted research on sanitary pad market which he found to be mainly dominated by expensive and imported brands. He immediately noted this problem. Murugunatham then began to brainstorm solutions for affordable napkins. He experimented with a variety of materials and design for sanitary pad. He constantly tested his prototype with women and he made changes based on their feedback. That means his process was iterative and collaborative too because he involved his subjects in the product development. And at the end, he developed a first low cost machine made sanitary napkin that was both affordable and effective. Murugunatham's story is a true inspiration to designers and innovators around the world. But wait. How can we relate his story to design thinking process? Here are some specific instances when Murugunatham's social work matches to the principles of design thinking. The first step of design thinking is empathy. Murugunatham's journey began with empathy itself. He empathized his wife. That is, he began by understanding the needs of the people he was trying to help. He spent a lot of time talking to women about their experiences with menstruation. Being a man from rural background, he did not have any idea about women hygiene. So, he listened to their stories and tried to understand their needs and concerns. He observed that the women would often use rags to manage their periods, which could lead to health problems like infection and disease. So, by empathy, he was clear about the issue, which is lack of affordable sanitary pads. Now, he moved to the next step, which is to define the problem. This is the second step of design thinking. Once Murganatham understood the problem, he began to define it more clearly. He identified the three key challenges. Cost, Availability and Education Cost is the first challenge because sanitary pads were actually very expensive for many women in rural India. Availability is the second key challenge because sanitary pads were not widely available in rural areas. And the last challenge is Education. Women were often not aware about the importance of using sanitary pads. Murugunatham, after defining the problem, he started to ideate a solution, which is the third step of design thinking. Look at this genius. The way how he approached this problem is really appreciable. He immediately began to brainstorm solution to these challenges. He considered a variety of options. His first idea was to wrap cotton into a viscous cloth. Murugunatham was not afraid to experiment with different ideas. He tried a variety of materials and designs before he found one that worked. Later he translated his idea into a demo prototype, which is a prototyping phase of design thinking. He made a prototype using cotton wrapped into a rectangular shape viscous cloth. After successfully completing prototype, it's time to test. Now he needed a women volunteer to test the napkin made by him. The only possible women he could ask was his wife Shanti. When he handed her the napkin, she used it and gave the feedback that it is very nasty and not good. After a failed attempt and a bad feedback, he tried again and again with different materials. He was willing to fail and learn from his mistakes. He also tried on himself and became the first man to wear a napkin in the world. He went back to prototype phase to build a new sanitary pad using cellulose derived from the bark of a tree which is called wood pulp. Being the son of a handloom weaver, 
he had the knowledge of cotton and some other materials murugunatham went to the test phase again this time he gave the samples to medical college girls for test and received a positive feedback but he also learned that the pads were not comfortable to wear so comfort was one of the key performance indicator for him murugunatham made several modifications to the design including adding a leak proof layer and a soft absorbent core so he tested his ideas with users and made changes based on their feedback which is called as iterative prototyping he understood that the best solutions are often created through collaborations murugunatham continued to iterate on his design until he created a sanitary pad that was affordable comfortable and met the needs of his target users subsequently he implemented it for large scale manufacturing and named his product as nai pads which means new pads in hindi so if you see murugunatham's journey he has passed through all the steps of design thinking and design thinking process led to the development of a product that has a major impact on the lives of women in rural india nai pads are now available in over 60000 villages in india and they have helped to improve the health and well being of rural women he is a true champion of design thinking and a role model for anyone who wants to use their creativity to solve social problems so the same story is also shown in the movie padman which features akshay kumar all the stages of design thinking are clearly visible in this movie you can see here the first image where akshay kumar empathizes to his wife once he identified a problem he went to the next stage which is the define phase which is depicted in the second image here the third image represents ideation phase where akshay kumar is ready with an idea and in the fourth image he convert his idea into a prototype he take this prototype and test on himself after failing he goes back to define phase and generate a new idea and a new prototype for testing like this he has failed several times that means his process was iterative in nature he tested all possible ideas which he thinks can be right and at the end he come up with a beautiful solution and he passed the test also once he successfully completed the test phase he went on to the implementation phase during implementation phase he did mass scale production of his sanitary pads and at the end he started to create awareness about the usage of sanitary pads during menstrual cycle so this is all about murugunatham's journey and design thinking process if you have any doubt or query regarding this video you can post in the comment section i'll see you in the next video till then be creative